But I went to get the wife a nice present and I called into this shop and I said to the young lad behind the counter, I said, excuse me, son, have you got a see-through nighty size 22? He says, oh, they're chuffing out what's a see-through, that. <laughs> I went to home the other night, I walked through the door, she said, look, I've been doing some sums, and you were spending £40 a week on beer to drink in this house. I said, well, I've done a few sums of my own, you know, and you spent £15 a week on makeup. I said, that's to make me look attractive. I said, what do you think the bloody beer's for? <laughs> Six. Not a stupid name for a kid. <laughs> You're an horrible little swine. He's always got an answer and he's always running a con. He said to me, he said, uh, Father, I said, what do you want, Six? <laughs> he said, give me 50 quid. I said, what do you want 50 quid for your five-year-old? He said, give me 50 quid, Dad, and I'm going to tell you who's sleeping with Mum every time you're away. I gave him 50 quid, I was fuming. I said, who is it, son? He said, me. <laughs> I said, you're a cheek, little swine. You one day, you'll have kids of your own. He said, so will you. <laughs> <laughs> I picked him up from school, he was 25 minutes late, said, you, in this car, no! I said, what have you been tonight? He said, I'm auditioning for a part in school play. I said, fancy that. <laughs> Can you get the part, son? I did, Dad. I'm playing the part of a man that's been married for 27 years. I said, don't worry, lad, you might get a speaking part next year. <laughs> And we go to that capital of entertainment as well as being Benidorm. Oh, I love Benidorm, me. And there's a sign up promenade, a big steel fist like that, and it says English speaking doctor. I thought, Christ, my team got them in Sheffield. <laughs> see my mum today because she's older than me. <laughs> she sat in the kitchen. I said, what are you doing, mum? She said, a 6,000-piece jigsaw. I said, what's the picture? She said, a cockerel. I said, they're cornflakes, mum. <laughs> she said, you lousy swine. Just finished corners as well. <laughs> From he went to see me doctor today, and he said to me, I've got to watch what I'm eating. So I bought two tickets for Grand National. <laughs> but I went on that eBay and I'm trying to sell me Python. And I put, it, I put it on the advert, Burmese Python. This fella phoned me up and said, is it a proper Burmese? I said, it's a Burmese Python. He says, is it a big one? I said, it's massive. He says, how many feet? I said, look, you know, it's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have to be careful as well, because apart from my good friend Kevin here, I married a lady from over the waters, an Irish lady, and, and when I first met her in her family, I kind of thought that they're not quite uh, wired up properly, but they're not actually, the Irish are not thick, they just think on a different plane to us. Now, my brother-in-law, half had it, he just bought two goldfish. He called them one and two. I said, why do they call them one and two? He said, one dies, I've still got two left. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> and we go to that capital of entertainment as well as being Benidorm. Oh, I love Benidorm, me. <laughs> and there's a sign up promenade, a big steel fist like that, and it says English speaking doctor. I thought, Christ, my team got them in Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> And our buddy, and our best friend Jock, we went to Benidorm for a lad's week on beer, stopped in the tallest hotel in Europe, the Hotel Barley. We're on the 65th floor. When it's out at 7 o'clock, everything's fine. A few hours on this strip, rather worse for wear, 4 o'clock in the morning, we got back. The lifts are broke. <laughs> I had a plan. I said, for 25 floors, I'll tell every joke I've ever learnt. I said, joke, for the next 25 floors, you'll sing every song you've ever learnt. I said, our buddy, for the last 15, you tell some sad, depressing story I have done the whole holiday. <laughs> so we started climbing these stairs, and at first, it's not bad, the jokes are flowing. A few flights of stairs, the jokes are slowing. 20 floors, I can hardly breathe. I'm wet through, I'm sweating like Gary Glitter in Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the 25th floor, I think, Jock, is your turn for God's sake, sink. A flower is Scotland. For 25 floors, he sang his head off. Got to the 50th floor, we're on his knees. Wet through, his lungs are hanging out. I said, Paddy, it's your turn. Tell us something depressing, because I've left the fucking keys in the reception. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a fabulous audience. Thanks for listening. Good night, God bless. Thank you.